coming up. Our panel gives this jilted woman some smart advice. I'm just so afraid that whoever I find is going to cheat on me again. There's no shortcut through the firewalk. You just have to do it. You've got to take baby steps. You've got to start living life again. Somebody wonderful is going to come your way. Just open yourself up to it. If you've ever been cheated on, then you know the emotional devastation it can cause. I have a woman in my audience who's been getting over being cheated on. Where's Victoria? Hi, Victoria. Hi. How are you? Besides Fine. having been cheated on. Yeah. Tell me your story. Um, it was the guy I was dating for, it was pretty serious. It was the first guy, only guy I've ever thought of marrying. And we came back from a sort of date babysitting his brother. And his brother got excited and pressed the answering machine button because he had a message. And it was this woman that said, you know, hi, you're the last person I was with. And you need to call me because I think I'm pregnant. And that's how I found out that he cheated on me. That's a dude that sucks. And then, so you found that out right away. So, and also, he's one dude. But there are a lot of good dudes, not necessarily in this audience, but there are a lot. <laughs> right? Angela? Angela, you know a little bit about this. You know a little bit about this. What can you tell Victoria? I know a whole lot about it. And, and not that I want to top your story, but in my case, CNN was the bearer of bad news. So I found out with the rest of the world. So, you know, and, and I think, though, that when I was going through my anguish, somebody said to me, there's no shortcut through the firewalk. You just have to do it. You have to walk it. And I think part of we get in trouble because we want it to go away really quickly. I mean, I think you need to really. I'm just so like, afraid that. You Whoever I find is going to cheat on me again. I mean, well, you're wounded. I mean, you're, you feel like the, I understand that. I myself have not dated since I've, I've been, go, it's like 10 years. Because I had put so much of who I was into his dream and trying to be the Cinderella fairy tale wife, I decided to take time out to find who I was. And I think. Well on. Let me ask you. I'd be, interested, I'm interested, I'd be interested to hear what the guys say about this. What do you think, Russell? How do you feel? Have you been cheated on before? Um, not for a very, very long time, and then with really good reason. I was, you know, I was way worse than the girl in question, so that's a long story. But I think, you know, <laughs> sooner or later, you, you've, you've got to take baby steps. You've got to start living life again and going out there. You don't have to marry the next guy you meet or have a lifelong relationship with the next guy you meet. Just go out, have dinner with the next guy you meet, you know? Michael, what Take do you a think? small step. I mean, I, I feel bad for you. I feel like you, I can look at you and you're, you're, you're hurt. You're a beautiful girl. Just go out and enjoy life. There's so much fun to be had and somebody wonderful is going to come your way. Just open yourself up to it. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. We'll be right back. Coming up, can a relationship recover from cheating? Infidelity doesn't have to be the end of the relationship. People do make mistakes. I say once you've cheated on me, boom, I get no time for you. Point blank, that's it? Yeah. 